welcome back to my channel and for today's look if you wanted to see how I created this wild thoughts look I'm going blonde just stay tuned on my channel hello guys so I'm back with another look so I already did prime my face and did my eyebrows off camera so now we're going to use this 35 beam from Morphe palette and I grabbed the first transition it was the light green followed by the dark green on the palette and I place it in the bottom of the first light green that I place on the crease and then I grab this big fluffy brush to blend it in a circular motion after that I grab a pencil brush using the black eyeshadow from 35B Morphe palette and place it on the crease to give me more definition after that I go back to the first brush and dip it to the darker green and place it on the crease followed by the wing gauze brush number 16 to give me more softer blend And for cutting my crease, I used the concealer brush and Tarte Shape Tape to cut my crease. Now once you are done cutting your crease, you go back to the 35B palette with the shader brush, uh, grabbing this neon pink color and place it to the lid. Followed by the Sulu palette with another pink color and place it uh, all the way. Not all the way but half of our crease. On the outer V, it's very tricky. I did grab a couple of colors, a brown, a blue, and a black to deepen out my crease. So I am not satisfied with my outer V, outer V color. So I grab the Anastasia and Anastasia Prism palette and grab the black color from that palette and use it with the brush Sigma E36 to give me more darker outer V and dragging it all the way to the middle of my crease to give me more definition after that I grab this concealer brush from BH Cosmetics spray it with the Smashback water, Smashbox water primer and grab the turquoise color and a green color from Juvia's Play Sulu palette now I'm gonna clean my fallouts using the makeup baby wipes I think it's a baby wipes now I'm gonna use this NYX vivid bright this is the first time so bear with me if I am making a mistake I will try to clean it later and that's a shiny gold liner is from Urban Decay and now she was saying that she did her lash line using those color, the blue, those three color. Tarte Double Duty Duty, the hydrating foundation, and it was too light for me. Tart. Come on, I love the fact that you have a hyal hyaluronic acid on your foundation, but come on, please. Because after this shade, the shade next to it is darker than I am so what do you want me to do I am in the between you want me to buy two of the foundation and mix them together uh nobody has that kind of money Tart. yeah so whatever so this is my colorful look I use this big fluffy brush from uh it cosmetic mineralizes skin finish uh to set my face as well I say ah all the time. What the fuck? This to set the face first while dusting the excess powder. I use Laura Mercier to bake my face. Anyway. I 
I don't have complaints about like the formulation of the foundation, the Tarte foundation. Oh my god, I got the uh, Saharan Blush Volume 2 from Juvia's Place. Yes guys, I did get her and this is what I am talking about. It's like a bronzer shade. But I don't know yet. Um, I'm kind of nervous because it might came out lighter than my skin or what. But it's so... Okay, it's a blush. It's not a contour. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's so pretty though. It looks like a... um, Because it looks orange. If you could see, I swatch it uh, right there. It looks orange. It's just like my face. Orange. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay. We're going in, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. I like me some warm. It's called Yara. This shade that I'm doing for um, bronzer called Yara from the Saharan Blush Volume 2. The luminosity of this foundation. Do you see that, guys? Oh my gosh. I love it. Tarte, come on. Make a lot of shade for everybody. Okay? I don't have hate for you. I just don't have a shade for me. Like, I'm not white. I'm not black. I'm in between crowded in here so I'm gonna use this uh cool tone color is this what I want to use last time now let me use this um the one in the middle connected remember connected with eyebrows I love contouring my nose using all of these brushes. The brush like just like a toothbrush because it gives me like a precise contour, guys. I don't know who started it. I've never seen anybody contour like this. But this is the way I contour. Hope you guys learned something new from me. And give me credit for it. But, but um, when a big YouTuber saw this video... Of course, she or he will claim that they invented it. What fucking about? Okay, fine, you invented shade, don't care. So, I'm gonna grab this banana color and put it in the middle and the bridge of my nose. Blend so it's not harsh. I'm using the real techniques, this, uh, the shadow. It's supposed to be for eyeshadow. It's good for blending um, the nose contour. With these brushes, like this kind of brushes, the oval brushes, this perfect, precise, skinny nose. Flush. Tao. This peachy. Yes, the color of summer. I like putting a little blush on my nose look like a natural hi guys so I am back and um, we're gonna set the face before we put the Pat McGrath matte trans lipstick okay so I'm using this new um, setting setting spray setting spray <laughs> from Smashbox it says primer water set refresh and spray This is so good and refreshing. I like it. I like it so much. Oh, I have a high a new highlighter that I wanted to try. So um, I picked it up. Uh, I picked this bad girl up at Ulta, and I already did swatch it. And I was like, okay, mm, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> And then now we are going to try it if I can open it. So yeah, if this is from Makeup Revolution, the um, I'm 
Amplified Get Big HD. So you get like 15 highlighters. 15 highlighters for, for I think it's $20. Yeah. So it's a pretty good deal. So I was like, I grabbed it because the bitch is calling my name all over those highlights. Go ahead because I would like to... Um, this shade right here called Pearl was really calling out my look today, you know, my queenly look today. So let's just dive in. Ah! <laughs> oh gosh! Yes, bitch! Oh bitch, you see that? What the fuck? <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe this. For $20, you're kidding me, right? This can't be true. I don't know why nobody's talking about this. Ah, rich over here. It looks like a golden pearl. brush I, I need a good brush for this oh my god I cannot believe this this is the first time I already swatched it on my um, arms and my cheeks but I didn't know that it will perform as good as like this bitch you see that yes come through highlight well anyway um, okay moving on so this is the Pat McGrath. This is how it came in. Um, I thought it was gonna come in with like the gold packaging that she used to have because I used to have that with the metal morphosis. Uh, anyway, so this is how it came in. It came in with the box in the box and and a lot of like thingy to protect it. And then it came in with the little tag right here. So this is a uh, a flesh three. Go ahead and try this. So this is the color, guys. It looks like a dusty rose to me so let's try it on my skin tone i mean it's it's pigmented yeah the pigment is there so lightweight um it feels like you put powder on your lips it does it's it, it, it's not feeling like a lipstick this has like a uh, berry color, more on the berry side, and a little bit of brown. So yeah, I like it. So um, this is my color. This is the nude color for me. I like it. So what do you think, guys? This one would transfer. Would it? It would not last like you all day or whatever. Um, you see that? It's it's not uh, staining. If you take it off, it it won't stain your lips. So yeah, just have a problem with the price point, but the formulation are awesome and the packaging are awesome. I'm a sucker for packaging. But I was sure when I get it Shadow it just to keep it white and black as if I'm your sister. I'm wild.